There were many attempts to explore and to conquer the Antarctic continent at the end of the 19th and beginning of the 20th century. Many of these expeditions give a sad example how a combination of different factors can lead to defeat. That time there was little knowledge about this strange cold continent. It was a time with a belief system of the heroic age with its overconfidence in human capabilities. And it was a time with nationalistic, idealistic thinking in concurrency that led to many deaths and to many failures in the tries to explore that continent. Contrary to that, Shackleton's biography gives a very good lesson for a different, a modern and an exemplary way to be successful. The lesson we can learn from him is understand the rules of the system and use them. Before Shackleton organized his first expedition, the Nimrod expedition, he was already very experienced concerning the execution of an expedition to the South Pole. But the biggest challenges often occur where you don't expect them. Think about this. Shackleton uh, made great efforts to supply his crew with the best equipment he could get. He knew very well how crucial it was under these extreme climate conditions to supply his crew with the best shoes, the best clothes and the best nutrition he could get. Not only for physical reason, but also for psychological reasons. Shackleton had to finance his expedition. So he knew the rule is you have to sell your ideas to get the support you want. And Shackleton did it. He raised the money and he made it possible to have his expedition. First it was the Nimrod expedition and years later he did the same with the Endurance expedition. Or the situation when his ship, the Endurance, was icebound. It was a very critical moment and he had to avoid that the crew would become depressive. And Shackleton was very clear-sighted when he executed structure and a timetable that helped to keep the crew motivated. So all this shows that Shackleton knew what he had to do and he did what he had to do. Modern leadership it is also important to understand the rules of the system. On a surface level, this means to understand the official rules of the organization or of the business you're in. On a deeper but much more important level, this means to understand the unofficial rules, how, where and when decisions are made, where the power sources are, what are the patterns of gratification and the boosters of carrier. If you know the architecture of the culture you're in, you're ready for success. Now you can decide if you want to play the rules and how you can use the mechanisms to reach your goals.